Hello everyone and welcome to another Cornix tutorial. This video will demonstrate how to create your own DCA bot. The Create Bot wizard allows you to define your own advanced DCA strategy. Alternatively, you can just copy a public bot created by other traders. For more information, please watch our dedicated tutorial which can be found in this video description. To create a new DCA bot, start by navigating to the My Bots page under the DCA section and click the Create Bot button on the top right corner of the screen. On the right side of the screen, you can view your current available balance and an estimated preview of the bot's orders which will update when the bot's parameters are modified. For your convenience, the system will warn you when something is invalid and will let you know what needs to be changed in order to create a valid bot. Our Create Bot wizard is comprised of five steps. Start by setting your bot's general settings, such as its name, exchange account, and symbol. The amount per trade is the total potential amount to be invested in each of your bot's trades. For futures exchanges, you will also be able to set your leverage preferences and the trade's direction. Proceed to set the bot's entry strategy. On each DCA trade, the first entry order will always be a market order. The customized first entry toggle will allow you, if enabled, to set a specific amount to be allocated for the first entry order, defined as a percentage out of the total trade amount. The amount scale and number of orders parameters will determine how the trade's amount will be distributed between the orders. The number of active orders parameter controls the number of active entry orders the bot will place simultaneously on the exchange to limit the amount of funds locked up in a trade. Finally, the price difference and price scale parameters determine the order's prices. While changing the entry order's parameters, the maximum price difference between the orders will be displayed below. Enabling the trailing toggle will apply trailing entry based on the chosen percentage for all entry orders, except for the first entry order, which is a market order. For an in-depth explanation of the bot's parameters, please see the link in the description. Proceed to set your take profit order as a percent above the first entry or the average entry price. Trailing configuration is available as well for the take profit order by enabling the trailing toggle. Mitigate your risk by setting a stop loss order as a percentage below the first entry or the average entry price. In addition, you can define the total number of continuous stop loss orders that will be executed by the bot before it is automatically deactivated. Lastly, on the advanced settings, you can set a cooldown time before a new trade will open automatically after a trade is closed and the number of trades until the bot stops. When creating the bot, you will be able to choose between create and create and activate. Create will create the bot in an inactive state and trades won't open until activated manually. Create and activate will create the bot and immediately activate it. Once the bot is activated, the first trade will be immediately created. As long as a DCA bot is active, it will always have one open trade, excluding any cooldown duration defined. Each time a trade is closed, a new trade will be created automatically, unless configured otherwise in the advanced settings. On each bot, you will see its general information, the number of closed trades and its total profit or loss. You will also see the last entry filled and the next entry, stop or take profit orders. In the menu on the top right corner of each bot, you can see its current open trade, all of the bot's closed trades, and can also edit, duplicate, activate, deactivate, or delete the bot. In addition, you can generate a shareable link using the share feature to let your friends easily copy your successful bots. This is it for this video, I will see you next time.